in order to create my pH measuring system there are a few things that I need including a pH electrode probe which is this the sensor signal converter which is this my micro bit a battery pack some alligator clips which on the other end of them have female DuPont connectors and some or three male to male DuPont connectors to set it all up first thing I'm going to do is connect up my micro bit to the alligator clips so black can be ground red can be the three volts supplying the power and yellow can go to zero which is going to supply the signal now the pH electrode probe notice the other end of it is one of these connectors it's called a BNC connector and it plugs in by twisting and locking so simple place it in twist and lock then the other end of the sensor signal converter is connected via this wire which came with it it only goes in one way there it is and now all I really need to do is connect this male to male so it will do them one at a time so my ground is going to use the grey cable and the other end of ground is this so it will connect in there my power which is the red middle is going to connect to my red here and the last one which is supplying the signal which is yellow there I'm going to place that in it's white here and it goes to the yellow alligator clip then when I plug my micro bit in and choose one of the buffer solutions so here I've got pH 10 buffer pH 4 buffer and pH 7 buffer if I choose my pH 10 carefully unscrew my pH electrode probe first of all wash it in a little bit of water and then place it in the pH 10 buffer I should get a value once it settles down up near about 10 and there it is so that's how we connect it up so in order to get my initial values I've opened up Microsoft make code for microbit and I'm going to create a basic loop that goes on forever in this loop I want to show a number and then I want to just let the micro bit pause for a couple of seconds so I'll make that two seconds the number that I want to show is going to come from an input from the pH electrode probe and I'll plug the data lead from that meter into pin zero so I'm going to read analog pin zero and it's analog because the number won't be a zero or one it'll be a number that may be in the range of zero through to uh, maybe even a thousand and twenty three I don't know but let's take a look that's about all I want my code to do so I can save that as ph test raw and then I can download it to my micro bit by clicking the download button now I'm going to plug my micro bit in and get my sensor ready and let's see what happens so the micro bits plugged in carefully unscrew and notice that there's still some liquid in the bottom of this I want to keep that because that is used to keep the sensor neutral to help with calibration later on so we'll start with the pH 7 which is neutral I can dip my sensor into the pH 7 and if you look at the micro bit I'll just shake it around a little bit let's see if we can get a reading and what we want to do is make sure that we get the same reading a few times or thereabouts we're getting 363 okay so that seems pretty stable so let's go with 363 I'll just wash the 
sensor out and very quickly I will write down that pH 7 gave a value of 363. Now we'll try pH 4. This is somewhat acidic. I've already washed it in demineralized water. Place the sensor into the pH 4 and shake it around just a little bit and I'm getting 223. Let's make it 236. So if I place it in the pH 4 I get a value of about 193. 191. So I can see that I've got 188 three times in a row, so let's use that. So that means I can change my pH 4 value down from 236 to 188, which is a little bit more accurate. And then pH 10. And let's just make sure it's nice and clean. Put it in the pH 10, let it stabilise. So I've got 511 and 511 and 510, so let's make it 511. So I've set up a little spreadsheet to help me to work out the mathematics of this. I'm not going to include a value for demineralized water because I didn't even notice it, but I do know that for pH 7 I got a value of 363. PH10 I got a value of about 511 and PH4 when I retested it because I wasn't happy with it going all over the place I got a value of 188 when it settled down. So how do I get these numbers to something between 0 and 14? Well I imagine PH7 should be uh, the middle of that range and the middle of that range is 7 so in order to get 363 down to 7, if I divide it by about 50, let's see what happens. So I make a little formula, which is equals B4 divided by 50, and I get 7.26, and I'm happy with that. Now, will that work with the other two? Well, I can drag the little blocks down pH 10 becomes 10.22. I'm happy with that as well because 10, 10, 7, 7. But pH 4 is 3.76. Now, if I take a look at that, I know that if I round that, it becomes 4. So let's put in a new column called round. And let's make the C4, C5 and C6 values equal to the round of their value and I need to put in a comma and I need to round it to zero decimal places so there's my formula and that becomes seven and I can double click that and now I have seven ten and four so it's rounded so that means that I can now choose some uh, other numbers and see what happens so I imagine that if I put in a pH value of um, so let's make it something like 10 so a raw value of 10 will give me a number of 0.2 in our range and if I round that 0.2 it'll become 0 so I'm happy with that if I go to pH 14 so I imagine if I get a value of around 700 Let's make it 710, and again, okay, I see that I get something in the range of 14.2, but if I round it up, it becomes 14. So it looks like my little formula has worked all right. So now we can see how to apply that formula inside of the micro bit to make our code a little bit better. There are two ways that I could approach this. One is with this original code and 
using the spreadsheet that we just looked at, and we'll do that first. So instead of just show number analog read pin 0, I need to do a little bit of maths with this analog read pin 0, including dividing it by 50 and rounding it. So if I go to my maths, I can choose my divide by block. Inside of maths again, I can choose round. So these are the extra bits of code block that I need. It's analog read pin 0 divided by 50 and I want to round all of that so that I don't get decimal points. Downloading and running this will give me values between 0 and 14 without any decimal points and uses the calculation that we worked out with the spreadsheet by dividing by 50. There is another way that we can do this that doesn't require us to do the calculation ourselves in the spreadsheet. The microbit code does all the mathematics and gives us a similar result. So we'll look at that next. So now I'm going to copy this just to control C. I'm going to go home. I'm going to create a new project. I'm going to call it PHFinal. Let's create that. I should be able to control V and I've got my old code in there. Instead of showing just this number, I want to show that number, sure, but I want to round it, which is what I did in my Excel spreadsheet. And what I also want to do is I want to map the numbers so that they're not 0 to 700, but they are 0 to 14 to reflect the pH chart. How do I put all of this together? I want to map my analog read pin 0 from a low of 0 and a high of around 700 to a new low, well, a new low of 0, which is the same, and a high of 14. And then I want to round all of that. So I'm going to drop that inside of here. And now if I download this to my microbit by clicking the download button, it downloads to my microbit. And let's take a look at what happens when I retest these values. So now if I place my meter in pH 7 order, I get a value of 7. If I place the pH in 4, I get a value of 4, and if I place the meter in 10, I get a value of 10. So that's pretty accurate.